Okay, um, just broke camp and heading out. This is uh, the morning of day two, uh, May 12th. Um, I slept in this little meadow here, uh, just half a mile north of Lake Morena, and got in late yesterday, or what I would consider late. Um, <clears throat> was dead tired, so I didn't make an extra video then. But um, I'll recap the end of yesterday later on. Coming to Powser Creek and so forth, it was a little harder than I remember. Um, but a lot of condensation last night. My tent is soaked. Uh, a lot of stuff. I don't know why my tent uh, got so soaked. I have a um, Six Moon Design Lunar Solo. And usually does pretty good, but um, it's on top of my pack right now. So, so when I um, when I take a break or whatever, I'll spread it out and dry it out. But um, everything's going good. I feel pretty good this morning, considering how tired I was yesterday. And um, just continue on the journey here. Hey, little guy. How you doing? What's up? You just clean yourself. I'm gonna walk by, okay? You just cleaning yourself? What's up, huh? You're not the skittish type of bunny. Really? I'll see you later, buddy. Come on, skinny love, just lay singing. To pour a little soap, we will never eat. Adventure time. On the PCT. A mile 24, 25 or so. And, um,. Everything's going good. A little bit of hot spots on my right foot. No blister yet, but I'll take care of that. See if I can avoid a blister. There's Lake Morena. So in 2014, I did the first 652 miles of the PCT from the Mexican border, this other terminus to Walker Pass. So it was a through hike that got ended at 652, so I guess it becomes a section hike. Um, and it was great, it was wonderful, and that's part of the reason why I'm back out here again. And um, so yesterday was a great day. I forgot how beautiful the first day, the first 20 miles or so of the PCT is. Um, maybe partially because the rains, the flowers are in bloom. It's just gorgeous. Lots of wildlife, um, but hot. And, um, so I got to Hauser Canyon and when I headed up that, um, yeah, it was harder than I remember. <laughs> so I think, um, six years and about 10 pounds, thank you couch and TV, um, made that harder. So I'm hoping to drop that weight rather quickly. And uh, make this a little bit easier. Everything else is pretty much the same. I think my pack weight's about the same. Different shoes, but yeah, it was, it was, it was tough. I got in later than I expected at Lake Marina, like about 6.30. And I was, I was exhausted. So I didn't even make a video last night at the end of the day because I was just too tired. Um, it's hard to explain how much I miss my family when you're out here. Um, 
it's hard. Uh, even though I just saw them yesterday, and I will be seeing them in about two weeks or so, the reality sets in, and you just miss people, and uh, the gravity of the you know possible through hike attempt begins to kind of set in, and knowing that I won't be seeing them on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's rather emotional texting and talking to them. Um, speaking about, oh yeah, so the other 10 pounds is partially to milkshakes or partially to uh, chocolate milkshakes are partially to blame. That's my fault. Speaking of which, there's a gallon of Rocky Road ice cream in the freezer at home, boys. Don't touch that, because I want that when I get back. I expect it to be there. So, uh, yeah, everything's going good. Day two, not sure how far I'm going to go today. Mile 37, maybe. That'd be 17 miles. I think that's Long Creek Canyon. Or I might go to Laguna if I'm feeling great. But I really don't want to push it. Yesterday was harder than I remember. But doable, just exhausting. Take you on the trail here for a second. And... But I can't express to you how much I'm loving this trail. Like any other time. Or... I wish you all, everyone could do this trail. If you can, Absolutely, do it. Gets uh, gets harder the older you get. But I just can't express to you the beauty out here and how amazing this trail is, and the feeling it gives you, and the fresh air, and the smells, and the sounds. Come on, skinny love, just lay All right. Okay, first stream crossing. There it is. It's uh, Cottonwood Creek. And yes, I did take off my shoes. I don't really feel like having them wet for the entire day, just for one little crossing. And also, it's nice to be able to stand in here for a while and pull off the dogs. after 10 o'clock and I'm almost to the Interstate 8 uh, where I'll be going under it in just a second here and I'm also at mile 26.5 which means I've done 1% of the PCT yeah we'll see how that goes And I've told you to be patient, and I've told you to be fine. 
Well, mile 32.5, just having a little break, some water. It's pretty hot, but there's a pretty good breeze today. So it's pretty nice. The um, cooling off and putting my feet in at Kitchen Creek was really, really nice. That was a good break and I didn't do that last time. I was thinking about why I was making, why I'd make the videos and I think I'll put them on YouTube. Just, uh, I don't know if I'll ever be out here again. If I'll ever have a chance to do this again. Or if I do, it'll be quite some time. So I really wanted to document my experience um, for future me and, you know, for uh, my friends and family and anybody who wants to, to view them. My, um, you're welcome, friends. Um, hopefully I can take you along a little interesting journey. I don't think it'll be very exciting. Um, not very skilled at this, but I enjoy it. The hike so far is been amazing I love this trail um, I have not seen another through hiker yet and which is a lot different than when I was on in 2014 um, which was before I guess the wild effect or whatever when it was really busy I saw lots of I read lots of trail journals or saw lots of vlogs about people with lots of people on the trail and you know problems finding campsites and um, you know, lots of great trail magic and, and, you know, lots of, um, you know, nice to meet people on the trail, but this is going to be a year of, of solitude on the trail. I'm sure, um, whether you, the hikers on this trail this year choose to make it lonely is up to them, but definitely a year of solitude. So yeah, it's great hike so far. I love it. Um, just, I think I mentioned yesterday just the obviously the sights and just the sounds and the smells and the experience of being out here just the freshness in the air and the, the wildlife and the plants and i think i even mentioned the poison oak it was just beautiful um it's really nice so hope you enjoy these videos if you so choose and if you if anybody has anything you know i want to keep it positive if anything has any Anybody has anything bad to say or whatever in the comments, I'll just delete them. Um, it's not what it's here for. So, um, yeah, take care all. Get it, dude. Hey, buddy, you digging a hole or are you trying to get something? Oh, you're cool. Oh, hey, all right, see you later. All right, mile 37. There's supposed to be a campground here or a place to camp. Good spot. Pretty soon. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I'm dead tired, but. Oh, this is a nice place. Uh, yeah. This will. This will do nicely. This is home for the night. Wow, it's so level. Oh, all right. Um, good day, uh, 17 miles, and here's my campground for the night. Oh, it's really welcome, I'm tired. Um, these clouds came in and cooled it off. That whole climb out of Kitchen Creek was, uh, kept going and going. And I think I got lucky with the weather, no rain or anything, but just some cloud cover and just cool breeze most of the way it was really nice all right i'm gonna set up camp uh good night